this video, I'll discuss with you whether you should be using WordPress or not in 2023 and as we are approaching in 2024, is using WordPress even worth your efforts or not? Today we are going to discuss all these things. Let's get into the video. So I would like to start this video by discussing what exactly is WordPress. WordPress is a content management system which is based on PHP and you don't have to know how to write code in order to use WordPress. Now even if you are a coder, I would recommend WordPress because WordPress saves a lot of time when it comes to publishing your content managing SEO. Let us imagine a scenario where you are developing a website and you are actually writing code to develop that website. Now, if you are using WordPress, you can save a lot of time writing code and optimizing your code, then finding bugs and testing your code. Using WordPress is amazing for publishing content because WordPress is made just to focus on your content. You don't have to write any code. All you need to do is install WordPress after choosing an appropriate hosting and you are good to go. This is the reason I run my content websites on WordPress. WordPress is a very old framework and it is really optimized. We are recently at version 6 of WordPress and version 6 of WordPress is even impressive. If you can use WordPress with some of the plugins, then it is cherry on top of the cake because WordPress is already so powerful and installing plugins on top of that like Elementor, Elementor widgets and choosing Elementor hosting in order to do all these things will save you a lot of time and efforts. I'll tell you why later in this video. Let's discuss about what exactly is a page in WordPress and what is a post. The page in WordPress is just like an about page, contact page, which shows some information, some images, some videos and some static information. Now, when you are publishing your content on WordPress, you want your content to be published dynamically and incrementally as you add blog posts. So let us say I'm writing a blog post on how to use JavaScript efficiently, or let us say I'm writing a blog post on WordPress tutorial. I can add those incrementally on a single blog page and I can manage my widgets just like the way I want. Using WordPress will also save you a lot of time when it comes to SEO and optimizing your site because WordPress already has all these tools built in and you don't have to explicitly learn SEO in order to optimize your website. Now there is a concept of plugins in WordPress where you can enhance the functionality of your WordPress website by installing additional plugins. For example, Elementor is a plugin which can be used to add some beautiful widgets. Then Elementor also has a lot of templates built in which will save you a lot of time when it comes to creating your blog, publishing your blog and growing your business. Typically, when you are writing and publishing content on your WordPress website, you want your website to rank on Google, which in turn will increase traffic to your site, thereby increasing your sales or making you money in ad revenue. Now using Elementor will make your life as a WordPress developer really very easy because all you need to do is drag and drop, click plus to add some widgets and you can customize your website the way you want. So you should always choose proper plugins when you are building your website using WordPress. Now you must be thinking, why can't I simply use AI to build my website? Why do I need WordPress? You need WordPress because even WordPress is growing with AI. You will have the luxury of installing Elementor plugin and use Elementor AI if you're using Elementor to host your website. Now this is really a big deal because you can simply give your prompts and customize your website the way you want. So trust me, learning WordPress is very easy. And when you are choosing WordPress, you get an entire built website with the theme of your choice with the color of your choice, with the customization of your choice. And if you are installing plugins like Elementor, you can entirely customize your website the way you want. Now let's talk about what exactly hosting is. Whenever you are creating a website, be it using WordPress or be it using HTML, CSS or JavaScript, your clients will come to your website. Your server will process the information that is present. Let us say it will pull some data from the database or maybe it will pull some page to serve to the clients. Your client will then see that page code and it will parse it in the browser. This is something I teach in all my web development boot camps. Now, what is important is that there are two types of hostings. One is shared hosting and the other one is dedicated hosting. When you're going for shared hosting, a lot of people will get the same server to serve their clients. Let's say there is a company A and there's a company B and there's a company C. All these three companies will get the same server if they're opting for shared hosting. And this hosting or say a particular computer will be provided to all those three people or say all those three companies and their clients will be served through this particular server. Now the problem with shared hosting is, let us say your CPU goes to 100%, all the clients will suffer. Or if your shared hosting doesn't have enough resources, your clients will definitely suffer because your page speed will go down, your downtime will be increased, your rankings might go down in Google. Hence, it becomes very important for you to choose a good hosting provider. One of the best hosting providers that I have encountered is Elementor Hosting. And I recommend Elementor Hosting, not just because it is good, reliable, 
well and is optimized for WordPress, but because it has the least downtime and you get a lot of added value if you opt for Elementor hosting. If you are buying Elementor hosting, you can get a good deal on their pro widgets and their pro subscription, which in my opinion is cherry on the cake. Now, Elementor is a plugin that anyway you have to use if you are using WordPress. You cannot avoid it if you want to create a beautiful website. I have Elementor installed on all my WordPress websites and I personally recommend it to everybody, be it for designing pages or for designing posts. Another reason to use Elementor hosting is that it is optimized for Elementor widgets and Elementor is going to work the best if you opt for Elementor hosting. It is really very friendly and it allows you to create and launch a website instantly. The user interface is really good and on top of that you get everything you need to build your WordPress website in a single WordPress plan. You get the Elementor subscription and the hosting that you anyway have to pay. So my recommendation for your next WordPress website is Elementor hosting. If you want heavy discounts, check out the link in the description. It's fast, it's safe and I have personally used it without any hassles. Now there is another option for hosting which is cloud hosting. In cloud hosting, your provider simply provides you with some set of scalable cloud resources. Let us say if your traffic goes up, your RAM will increase if needed and your CPU will increase if needed. Your website might be data intensive and might need some graphic memory and on demand of your client and on demand of your website's load, cloud hosting will scale itself to cater your needs. Now we'll go to a computer screen and we'll see an Elementor hosting in action. We'll see how Elementor can be used and also I'm going to show you why Elementor hosting is best for your WordPress website. So actually I wanted to show you this Elementor hosting in action. Basically if you buy this Elementor hosting, you get the managed WordPress hosting plus the Elementor Pro Builder, then you get the themes and on top of that, Elementor has a very good support. Now, if you are going for WordPress hosting, I highly recommend this one because of the performance and uh, reliability and the additional items that you are getting with this. Now, Elementor has 99.9% .9 of uptime with extra security built in and they also have a CDN, which means that if you have some content and you want it to be delivered to the users very fast, you can do that. Let us say you are building your website from India and you have some users in United States, some users in Canada, some users in London, your content will be cached in London in United States as well as in Canada. Now this will help your users to access your website really very fast because your content is ready to be served in United States to the United States users, in Canada to the Canadian users, in London to the people living in London. This way your website gets really very fast and Elementor does a really good job because they provide high speed CDN by Cloudflare. If you're not familiar with Cloudflare, let me tell you that they have the top notch content delivery network and their content delivery network is the best. Now they also have a staging tool which can help you push your websites to a staging environment which means that uh, you can try out your website. Now if you haven't seen my video on staging local as well as uh, production environments, uh, I've mentioned in that video that if you have a very basic website and you want to build it, you'll have to first go to your local environment. And then once the development process is over, you'll stage that website. And once the staging is done, you actually go ahead and publish that website to production. Staging and production environments have very similar characteristics. The only difference is that you are testing your website while you're staging it. And when you go to production, you're actually making your website live for all the viewers. So this is what the difference between all these three is. Now there is one more thing I want to mention about and uh, it is called Local WP. So Local WP is a software which you can install and this basically helps you with local WordPress development. As you can see in this figure that uh, we have created a lot of WordPress websites and you can actually uh, use it for free. You don't have to pay for it. All you need to do is download this piece of software for free and you can actually spin as many local WordPress websites as you want. I love this tool because before this tool or uh, you can say before I knew about this tool, I used to use XAMPP. The setup was very cumbersome. I used to use Apache, MySQL, PHP. Then uh, I used to set up WordPress from scratch, which was a pain. I, I am able to do it, but the problem is that it takes a lot of time. With local WP, all I need to do is simply click here. Uh, I'll stop all my sites. Then I'll click on plus. I can create a new site. I can say continue and I can say element uh, site and then 
I can continue and then once again so Elementor site is being added it will ask you to allow this piece of software uh, through firewall uh, let me allow this through firewall and once everything is done I will be back so it is basically asking for some force redirection because it has to serve my website from the URL Elementor site dot local so I can actually go to Elementor site dot local and it will open my WordPress website which is amazing now it's installing WordPress uh, which is going to take some time so let's wait for it to install WordPress for us and then I'll be back so now Elementor site has been added as you can see so it is asking me to uh, view the website as you can see we have the WP admin at place I can say root root and if you want to remember the user ID and password you can check this box and then click login so as you can see we have this uh, WordPress installed and uh, we can simply go to plugins and add new and we can install Elementor by following these steps so I'll search for Elementor I'll search for it and I'll simply click on install now and the moment I do that the Elementor plugin will be installed the next step will be to activate the plugin and once I have activated the plugin it will ask me to connect my WordPress to the Elementor account which I'll do and then from there I'll start using Elementor now if you are using Elementor hosting the best part is that you get to get all the Elementor Pro features for free. I'm going to activate it and once I do that I can actually either skip or simply connect my account. So I'll simply connect my account which I'm already logged into. If you are not logged into your Elementor account you can simply log in and I can continue with Hello Theme or you can also later switch to Theme Builder and start building your website using Theme Builder. I'll name it Elementor Site. I'll skip this one. I'll start with a blank canvas or you can also browse through the templates that Elementor already have and if you are using Elementor hosting you will have access to all these templates you can also use AI image generator and a lot of other built-in features so you can explore it and start building your website from here now not only this you can also make multiple websites and host them using local WP you can click on plus and create a new site and let us say I'll I can name it Elementor 2 I'll click on continue and I can Simply keep it as root and root and click on add site and this will actually add another Elementor 2 website here and I can choose to either run it or stop it. You can even run multiple websites and access them on their respective URLs and you can see the URL as Elementor site dot local. Okay, let me allow this which is actually a very good thing because you get the feel of a real domain instead of the local host and if you are using XAMPP or some other tool to set up WordPress on local host it is actually a lot of pain because I have personally deployed a lot of WordPress websites and without local WP it takes a lot of time first of all secondly your setup is prone to a lot of errors and if you are a beginner and if you are stuck into something uh, you might uh, end up spending say three four hours in fixing all those things so I hope that you understand how you can use all these tools and how Elementor hosting can actually be your Swiss army knife while you're developing website one of the best things about Elementor is that they have their kit and uh, in their website kit they have a lot of designs you'll get 100 plus ready-made designs uh, which you can work seamlessly with for example let us say you want to create a blog or let us say you want to create an e-commerce website you already have built-in templates for that so this is something that I love about Elementor and if you are using Elementor hosting all this is free then on top of this you get a lot better headers and footers customization I love this type of customization because the best thing about this is that it's very intuitive plus it kind of solves a lot of problems that WordPress has when it comes to user friendliness you can change the background you can change the width you can change the layout everything is as simple as using a computer then they also have a WooCommerce builder and you can edit your store with the power of Elementor now if you are not familiar with WooCommerce let me tell you that it is a framework to create e-commerce website with WordPress and if you use Elementor on top of that it will really help you in your workflow now you get an extra speed not because this hosting is the best but also because you're using Elementor which is optimized for this type of hosting your website is built using Elementor and the Elementor hosting is optimized for websites using Elementor then last but not the least Elementor AI is really powerful if you want me to build a website for you using Elementor AI let me know in the comments below and I'll show you how to create a website using Elementor AI as you can see here that you can give a prompt and you can simply edit change or regenerate your content just like you do using chat GPT but this time you're going to to build websites using Elementor. This is really something I love. You can use generative fill, you can use 
all those AI features which you have probably seen somewhere or the other. But this time, all these features will be available right into your dashboards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We discussed about hosting. We discussed about why WordPress is good, why it is important, and why creating a WordPress website can actually be a good idea for you if you're using Elementor hosting and Elementor widgets. Now, if you want a video on how to create a WordPress website end to end, do let me know and I'll come up with a video wherein we will discuss how to create a website step by step and then host it on Elementor. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.